Hello folks, and welcome back to Vintage Survival. It has been a hot minute since we've last seen each other. And yeah, it's been a little bit busy. We've gone and cut Brassfield on 46, so that needs collecting. Or we're collecting or building that, and we do have the money for the abater. And you know, this money's gone down significantly. And that is because we've gone and bought the brand new International Lorry and Trader was all about in the last episode, so we'll go and collect that at the dealership in a sec because we got some contracts to do. We've got 59, 66 and 22 to do. These are big harvesting contracts. And also we're just doing some weed work because I forgot to sort out these weeds. They are fully established, so there wasn't a way to weed them or use a hoe in that, so we did have to buy some spray, so I think for now actually too bad because I was thinking about getting a mechanical weeder, so if we go into the store area. I think it's under weeders. There is one I saw recently. This one here. It's a case 1830. So you pull it at this end. Then we get to the field, you detach. Go to the three point linkage here on the back. You unfold the wheels and then just weed away. That's a nine and a half meter weeder at. 25 grand. So, yeah, cost per meter is not as great compared to what we've had previously, but again, that is an option for us. For baiters and that, yeah, we're looking at around 39 grand for the Ganger 9250. So, I think we'll go that. Yeah, we could go with the small baiters again, but yeah. But then we need a trader to get those on. And yeah, something. Put some new wood flooring underneath here. We're looking at what, 13 grand? No, no auto loading on this series. We do want something like one of these, perhaps. So it's 15 grand, so we need like 55 grand. Of which we don't have. Maybe we may have it after doing these contracts, but... Yeah, for the time being. We'll just head to the store, because that is where our glory is. And there we go, there she is, so we'll go over here, once again we need to start moving these stuff back to the main farm area. Anyways, turn that off. Also I've gone and purchased a, another field, field 54. And actually, can we look at getting a second harvester perhaps, how much did... Oh, we're just within the budget though. Get okay, a second combine harvester. But in fairness, I want to look for something a bit bigger. The Deutz or the Rush Smasher, that is what? Ooh, over a hundred grand, so... At the moment, I was going to save our money. We've got a new field in that. Let's figure out where we need to go, is turn right and take the second right. But yeah, like, yeah, we're at 40 grand, we're on decent money. Ooh. That is a nice noise. There we go. And yeah, we've got options for covers now, so when we're harvesting, 
if rain comes, I didn't have to worry about it too much, just go boop, cover on. And if our soils are filled, then again, another helpful bonus. So see, we need to go down here. Uh, yeah, there's a combine here. Actually, what we'll be able to test is. Can we actually get it fitted into the trader? Because, yeah, that looks quite rather low. So, unfold wall garnet. Why oh, is going to be tight? Long as we're leveled or something, then yes. So yeah, there's no like combining and that as we're going along where we can offload it, so yeah, looks like we're gonna have to when we're full just empty in that, so you know what? That's fine by me. I am perfectly happy with that. There we go. Harps are going. This is canola. Just to make sure we're not short swapping the bolts. And yeah, we've got this field to do as uh, six six. These are the big fields. And yeah, in terms of how much we're getting for how much time we're putting in, it's not really worth it too much, but so that's gonna go to the farmers market. So where is that to? So eat there. So yeah, that's got to go over there. So when we leave, we need to go up the road, turn left, and in the junction and turn right. And for sell everything that is there. And what about the other contract? What's that for? That one is also sorghum. And yeah, it'd be interesting to see if we can keep anything. Actually, canola and sorghum, do we need it? Sorghum that can be used for chicken feed. But we've got a wheat field, no, barley field on 54. And we do have some wheat in storage. Because yeah, 54, all that crop there is just going to be for the chickens. And oops, they'll be ready next month, so. We'll get that harvested then. And get the oats, that's what we we'll said in February is good price to sell all of our crops, so hopefully we should have a decent profit coming in soon. But again, as I said, we're in 1980 at the moment, so I am aware of combines being in the works and development by companies like Case and John Deere. And even another class being planned to be released, but that is a year or two away from coming to market. I've heard some inside stories about that, so and yeah, I think the rough specs are planning on doing something like this, but slightly bigger than that. So, but yeah, it'd be interesting to see. But we're looking at around a hundred grand for a new combine, so. Say that, so we still got this. It's only what 1.7 hours we've got on at the moment, so still plenty of usage left in it. And we're gonna be wrecking in the hours today as we get these fields done. So, yeah, let's get these harvesting done, and then we'll focus on getting that grass loaded up and then put it into the bundle cycle.
there we go. As we are approaching four o'clock, we are done. So, yeah, took a little bit of time, but you know what? It is worth it. And, even though, yeah, getting this into the trailer is a bit technically hard, you know what? I am not complaining. So, next, what I'm going to do is take this down to 66 over there. And I'll get the worker straight on that. So whilst the worker is sort of harvesting on that, we'll take this, which just for remind myself, needs to go to the farmer's market. Yeah, the farmer's market for that, and then the sorghum needs to go to Yeah, this one needs to go that sorghum needs to go to sell every container. And one by twenty two needs to go to the farmer's market, so yeah, yeah it looks like we'll be spending the evening doing this, but you know what? I didn't mind doing it, just crack on, chill out, this is some tunes to that. Some good old eighties hits. But yeah, I was thinking about getting a second combine in that, but you know what? I'm not going to. Because actually I didn't mind doing this like these fields are nice, they're very friendly to work on, so they're not complicated, they're not wonky or anything. So the water workers on that, we got 28,000 litres of canola. And yeah, if we can save a significant portion of it, what I would think about is taking it to the train silo, but if there's only like, what, 2,000 litres going to be keeping, then you won't. Might as well just set it so put the cover on. And yeah, that jack breaking, that is absolutely nice. Like this. Yeah, overall this was what? Almost hundred grand, about hundred grand it was. Yeah, sixty grand for the trailer and about thirty seven, forty grand for this cause have things on it like the headache rack and that the chunky agricultural tires and that it was needed so to get to the farmers market uh got go over here yeah, I thought we need to do a bit of a tight turn there but yes yeah, let's see how much we can keep from this so after everything that is five grand so yeah, overall that is nine grand for all of that, so you know what? I'm gonna keep on doing this and yeah, I'm gonna do this, just spend some time in the next hour or so. Get on all this done and I'll see you when either we're harvesting the wheat or more likely when we're picking up grass, because we'll get that grass picked up compacted so then in the next episode we sell that in February so yeah I'm gonna get this all done and I'll see you folks once I am done with all the contracting and there we go we are done with all the contracting so we have a look we've accepted the contract for 59 that we've done in the next episode so if we get a contract for 66 popping up, a cultivating contract or a plan contract. But as of yet, nothing has come up, so what I'm going to do for the time being is hire a worker. going to have a worker working on, on this field. Uh, we'll hop into the John Deere, we need to take this over. I know in the past we've been using our pickup to do like the foraging and that, but I think it's good to actually just use our tractors and that rather than using the pickup. Like, don't get me wrong, the pickup has been extremely helpful for us. So we've got the wind rower here. Where is, oh, I was going to say, where's the fence to? Or, or the Fiat Agri? Not the fence, the Fiat. So. I'll attach to you. And I'll just put you over there. Ah, I didn't even know what that was. That was just some mumble jumbled up words. 
But yeah, we've got the bunker site over here. I did have to make some tweaks off camera because we was having issues with this, so... Yeah, issues with the mod and that. In relation to a, a different uh, game save I'm on at the moment. And accidentally deleted the mod and I can't remember which mod it was. Because there are so many bunker site packs with the exact same name, so... But yeah, it's not to say the fault of the mod or anything in that. I don't, yeah, it's just one of the things, it's hard to put a unique name on Bunker Silo, whether it's medium or set or a pack. There's so much you can do with that, to be fair, so... What I'm going to do is get the wind road going. What is the more top speed? 21 and 19, so I'd rather have to John Deere doing the wind row in the Houston Fiat Tagri for the collecting and yeah, we're gonna be as we've done many times before. We're gonna rack this up and then yeah, simply I was gonna say bay there, but we don't have a bay yet. Though, with the straws, make sure we get sure we juice to we are. We do need a baiter. It's, it's come to that time, we do need a baiter on the farm, so... Yeah, six, 66 grand we're on at the moment, so... And having a worker is going to be helpful, because then... We can get the fields turned over quicker than that, even though the baiting ain't going to be done until the next episode, so... Technically, we could have left it in that, but yeah, it just wouldn't seem right now. I'd rather get the, get what we can do now. We're back up to times three. We want to keep these time scales up, just to encourage progression rather than. But yeah, obviously it's been what a week since I've done an episode. Get back into content again. Being love making content. Current plan is with my videos at the moment is. Uh, Spy Challenge. I've just released episode 60. And yeah, that's going to be wrapping up within like 5 to 10 episodes, I think. Because yeah, I want to get that series wrapped up because I am got something in the works of a new Let's Play series I'm going to be doing. It's going to be in the States. Yeah, I think since what, Earning Grants? Yeah, Al Chauvin is a European map, it was. But yeah, Earning Grants. Obviously, try let's play on out, but it's one of those things that just fell through in the end. But actually, I'm glad I'm like, completing that space here. As I know, with most of my series on FS22 so far, it has been one of those where it just stopped, not having an ending, not having a conclusion. That, obviously, with the exception of Comstock Farm, Al Chauvin, I think that was because of a mod issue or. No, actually, I think it was like the map now. Like, it was having so many weird issues with the map, if I remember correctly. But yeah, wrap it up. Uh, I've got some. Ooh, get a bit stuck there. But yeah, I've got plans in terms of what map we're gonna be on. At the moment, I'm thinking I've got a few in mind. I've got Stone Valley in mind. Even though a lot of people are playing that, so I may put that for a future Let's Play series. But yeah, certainly I'm thinking... I don't know... I will play by Salabuki. I did think about doing Alma, Missouri, but I know DJ Goem's done a Let's Play on that. And Miss CP is also... Doing let's play currently on that. I know I guess it's gonna be wrapping it up soon, I think, but yeah, I just want to play on the map where I haven't seen too many content creators play. I know I will I will play since I've had a few people playing on it. But nothing in like the high scales in that bit of it being something like Port Farm. That that was and it has been overly played on by content creators and that, but to be fair, it's 
fair with that. I can't really blame that because like, Court Farm is such a beautiful, is well done map. So you can't really just say, oh, do do content on it. It's one of those things where I struggle between the maps I love to play, I want to play on, and then you've got the maps where I do content increasing on, like Court Farm. Whenever that series does end, I'm still going to be playing on that map because it is such a beautiful map and it's one of those things where if I'm playing on the map, like with Miss CP said with Do Snowrunner, if he's playing on it, I might as well make a video out of it. If it gets views, good. If not, so more. That's the thing with me I need to figure out is to help expand the channel, grow the channel. That's why I want to do mod reviews again. When I actually start doing it properly, test videos, get news done. And yeah, just so many other stuff in that. It looks like we're full with the combine, so get that emptied. And yeah, we could be using the pickup, but and I know this is now, that's why I sort of try to sort of Say as zoomed out as I can. I'll try to speak a bit louder now. I may try to tweak the audio in the coming episodes now with this. So, wait, move. how I edit stuff now. Like I've got preset audio, like volumes and that, for a lot of stuff. So, yeah, I may need a little bit tweaking. But I think at the moment we're looking good. I'm like with the bunker side itself. Going back onto that, it actually is quite similarly sized. So, obviously, the only difference was the ground texture work, so, I had to take a bit of liberations with that. And I think, as well, in the future with this, what we'll be doing is actually reversing. I have tried sloping this, but probably tell like this angle here is oh it's it's a pain in the ass but I ain't gonna lie is a huge pain in the ass but uh, what you can do at the end of the day and to be honest can't do much so yeah that is what about further the field done and that's it barley from this actually don't check it is a barley field uh, Barley. Yep, this is Barley. Got something right for once. Actually, what? Well, stop that. Because uh, what I want to do is just help with the worker. I'll just round off this edge of the field and that, so. Well, I say that, I mean. Workers are not good with angles, so. I'm just going to do this little strip here. And then we'll get the work urge, continue on doing its own thing and that. And then I think we'll finish off the episode here by finishing off the grass work. And there we go, so the combine is emptied. That little section there is sorted, so now with the work urge, they, I'm pretty sure they, they could have done this, but rather be safe than sorry. So hard in that, so there we go. Way. Wind rowing is almost done, but we're going to be falling behind because of this. So, yeah, we need to get it compacted and with our roller and that, as we have learnt, that part is not going to be an issue for us. So, I think right off the episode here, let's get the rest of this done. And I'll see folks once we start getting this all compacted because we're going to be in a, again, another chunk of money's going to come in which will be helpful because, as I said, we've got beers to purchase, we've got, say, what, money for a new combine officer and that, or even the second one, like, we keep on expanding, like, in terms of fields and that, because fields are so cheap on this map, then we do need two, yeah, two combines, but yeah, let's get this done, 
and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. is the grass collecting done so now we just need to do the task of compacting it so this won't take long we've borrowed this roller here so there we go actually oh, that reminds me actually we should be borrowing this we should have purchased it yeah, I think we've got a rule on new lease in all the series, I just completely forgot about it, so that is my bad, but what I will do is I'll return it and I will buy it. And it makes sense to buy it since it's only what two grand, so I ain't a bad deal for us, so because yeah, if we look at this, this is getting compacted rather quickly. I'm just getting this first bump done. Before moving on to the bigger lump, so that is 107,000 litres. So, actually, what is the sell price at the moment for signage? Because it should be here this peak tomorrow, so yeah, 352. So, that's gonna be what? Yeah, about 107,000 litres, about. Yeah, 30 to 35 grand, so I am not going to claim on that. And that on its own almost covers the cost of the beater. Because, yeah, the harvesting is done. I actually didn't look at how much we got from that, so we'll have a look at that in a sec. Well, yeah, you should all see the wonders of this. Actually, double check. Oh no, I did purchase it, actually. I thought we borrowed it. No, we did purchase it, so if it was that time I may have actually borrowed it, or... Ah, no, no, no. What it was, I'll get away around the lease and rule, was I purchased it and then returned it, so... Because that is technically we are borrowing, but we're paying money for it, so... I know we're at 100% compaction, but... I just want to get this lump here, which is a bit more smooth. So when we go and offload this... Tomorrow, it'll be tomorrow night, so... Hopefully I'll have a bit more light. There we go. 
switch that off, switch that off, and then yeah, we'll get this covered. That is compacting. But yeah, that is, in terms of with the barley, that is 16,000 a year, so yeah, not too bad of a hole. And now, should we figure out where are we going to be storing this? Because, not the crop, the actual machine itself, because yes, we've got sheds and that, sheds galore, but which I'm not sure it's going to fit in, but Anyway, let's go and pop this away. I should be doing with some lights around the front because it is dark and it is a bit hard to see where exactly we're going. There we go. Let's offload the barley. Actually, how are chickens doing for food? Oh yeah, they got enough for the time being. There we go. And I think on that note, that's where I'm gonna leave it today. So, yep, next episode we're gonna be in February. Just checking on the contract situation. Don't have a corn editor, so we can't do the corn contracts and that. Sorghum for a grand, maybe. I don't know, but anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it today, and as always, hope you enjoyed the episode, if so, smash that like button, feel free to down below, if you want to share some, please be my guest, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider, but for I choose to do, hope you're nice day, but for now, this will be from Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.